May God's blessings and His presence be with you, dear brothers and sisters. In today's Gospel, Jesus rebuked the people who were searching for Him for the material things. A big group of people who had experience of eating the loaves of bread at the place called Tiberias on the seashore of Galilee, went back to the same place and searched for him. They wanted to have the same physical nourishment which they experienced few days before. Since they could not find him over there, they boarded into the boat, sailed to the place called Kapanakam. It was also another side of the Galilean seashore. There they found him and asked him, how did he come there? Jesus realized their intentions of their searching. Jesus exhorted them and rebuked them that they, they were not supposed to search for the physical and material things from the Messiah, but rather the spiritual things, the spiritual nourishment which would take them to the eternal life. And that food should be searched for. The people asked, what is that food? Jesus replied, it was the food for that you must labor, you must work, that was to believe in the one who was sent by the Father. The Father sent the Son into this world. The community which were searching for the material things from Jesus Christ should rather search for the spiritual things from the Messiah because the material things can be had from anyone who hail from this world but the spiritual things can be had only from the heavenly person. Christ was the heavenly person and he was there to give the spiritual nourishment. Jesus led the Samaritan woman for the spiritual water, spiritual nourishment. And she led the Samaritan woman step by step into the place where she could find in the person of Jesus Christ the Christ Jesus, the Messiah. Similarly, Jesus led these people to realize that the people must search in this Messiah, not the spiritual things, not the material things, not the things that could perish, but rather things that takes them to the eternal life. So, we are called to have such a mind, dear brothers and sisters. Every day and every Sunday, we receive the Holy Eucharist. For this, receiving this Holy Eucharist, we must labor, we must work. What for we must work? We must work to have faith in the Eucharistic Lord that we are going to receive. What is that work? Realizing one's mistakes, sins, failures, 
confessing it before the Lord and then getting forgiveness, finally having faith in the Lord. So every day the Eucharistic Lord comes to her hand and he is there present really and truly on the altar of God. So we must in a special way work for that faith so that we may have the great nourishment. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for selecting us to give the nourishment, the food of heavenly things, so that we may have a spiritual nourishment, Lord. The spiritual nourishment will give us the grace, will lead us to the higher order of life. We ask this through Christ of Lord. Amen.